Today, I am talking with a very active woman. Lolwa Almari is the president of the Women's Sports Committee. Welcome to BPF Shop Gate. I am Elizabeth Reich from Blamier Image. Today, my guest is a woman always in motion. Lola Almari is the president of the Women's Sports Committee here in Qatar. Hello, Lola. Welcome. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm really happy to have you today. It's such a pleasure to have you here, Lola. We met the first time back in 2006. You were working for the Asian Games. That was a long time ago. It was. <laughs> <laughs> was it always a dream of yours to, to work in sports field? Uh, sports is a passion. And I think if it wasn't a passion, I wouldn't succeed. And talking about the Asian Games, it was one of the best experiences I ever had. You know, that environment was many cultures, many different nationalities. All of us have learned a lot. And it was like a... Uh, life and career changing for me. From there, I think I, I become another person. And then uh, my career all shifted to sports management. I have to pick up on that because it also created the biggest impact, the biggest impact on me and my family. And until today, we've been through so many sports events, and that one is on the top of our list. And then, how did you become the, the president of the Women's Sports uh, Committee? Uh, actually, I started as a PE teacher, as you know, um, and I loved my job. When the Asian Games were, uh, were hosted in Doha, I worked there for some time, and then my career world changed to be uh, in the sport management. I turned to the Qatar Olympic Committee. During my time, there was an offer um, program called MEMOS. It was sponsored by the International Olympic Committee to give an executive master in sport organization management. Um, they, they chose me to submit, and I chose the Women's Sports Committee Strategic Planning. I wasn't part of the committee yet, but I was thinking to do something for the women's sport. Uh, I volunteered uh, to come here to have some information to try to help. Uh, my master went well, I had a degree, uh, so I, I think to implement my master's degree in the women's committee, so I volunteered from 2007. And then I became board member, general secretary, and it happened. So it was like a, a natural and exactly. deserved kind until exactly. Then. What about the support you had from your family, uh, um, from from society? I mean, I, 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 I was so lucky. Uh, my father, God bless his soul, he passed away two years ago. He was he was very supportive. He was with me from the beginning, and he was always telling me, "You are lucky." to be a woman in Qatar and to be in a sport. Sports are very popular on here and to be a woman you will have a lot of opportunities here. So I have both. I am a woman and I'm working a woman and I'm working in sport. So I was lucky to have his support in studying and then to continue working in this field. And culturally, I mean men around the uh, you around the sports uh, community from the Olympic Committee how was the support they gave you? Uh, of course, it wasn't easy at the beginning as uh, there was few women working in, in management and sport. But because I worked hard, uh, people were supportive. When they saw someone working hard, they would, of course, give them the chance. So, uh, women, Muslim women in sports. I mean, it's something that it's still uh, on its first steps. So tell us a bit about that. Women in general here in Qatar and Muslim women. Uh, actually, lately with the Shura Council, we have a forum women appointed, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the spokesperson is a woman. So we are lucky uh, in Qatar that if you are really talented or you are working hard, you will have the chance if you are a man or woman. Uh, in sport also, like you see a lot of trophies here, a lot of medals. We started in 2000, 
to participate and to be qualified for the Olympic Games. It was a challenge for us and we've done it in 2012 in London. Now our next dream is to, to have a medal in the Olympic Games. We have Arab Games, Asian Games, but for uh, Olympics we still didn't achieve it. We are working hard for it. But uh, in general, uh, women in Qatar, they are given a lot of opportunities and uh, we achieved a lot, I think, for this. Uh, I, did, uh, I did meet some women in football, uh, golf also. So I did meet uh, Qatari women yeah. in these uh, sports, which was quite uh, impressive to see. So I, I believe that uh, the support they get from you also is so important for them to to then bring their families and, and involve everyone, right? Uh, actually, there is a big support given from the Qatar Olympic Committee, professional trainers, and of course, professional doctors with ASPECA. Uh, the Olympic Committee is offering a lot of training camps, competitions, the transportation are there for the athletes. Uh, and also, if there is a life change for any athlete to change to be a referee or change to be a coach, it's also given to her. Uh, thank God everything is offered, but uh, they have to work hard for it. Oh, I am sure of that. But having all that support makes all the difference. Of course. And especially uh, influencing the new generations uh, and, and um, going to schools. I know that you also are very committed to that. So tell us a bit about uh, We have the school Olympic program, if you hear about it. It's like an uh, Olympics between all schools. Uh, and it started uh, 12 years ago and it's very successful and very popular among schools. And also we're doing during the year a lot of activities with the PE teachers in schools. I would like also to talk a little bit about the World Cup. I mean, it, it's what everyone uh, is talking about. And how much uh, do you think that this event will help you and, and women in sports here? Uh, as we all know, it's the first time in the Middle East, so the impact will be around the world and across generations, either if it's uh, men or women. And we are very lucky that many women are working in the organizing committee of the World Cup, uh, many of them uh, having a, a big positions in there. So I think the women's committee will benefit of them more. Like after the World Cup, they will of course be assisting in here hosting any games or organizing any activities. Uh, and also as it was announced that a lot of seats and venue parts will be donated for uh, football projects around the globe. Uh, so, and we are also lucky that we will of course have one of these venues will be dedicated to us women. That is fantastic. What are your plans for the near future, for, for in, in terms of events? What do you have now in, in your schedule? Because COVID came and affected everything and changed, I'm, I'm sure, all your schedule, everything. Uh, actually, I, I, through this channel, I want people to follow our page on Instagram and Twitter. We always announce our daily activity. We will have our sports league as scheduled in October. Hopefully, it will... Uh, it will start in October. We have a training for football coaches for level C and a lot of uh, activities and, uh, and training will be held and it will be announced on Instagram and Twitter. So online is really important for you. I mean, being online um, uh, makes a huge difference because everyone now can quickly research and, and check what you have and all the information. Uh, actually, it was for, the, for a lot of our activities and competition, the, uh, the registration was online for a long time ago. But after the COVID came, even the activities for community like yoga and uh, other events for community, it was held online and I was surprised at the number of people participating in these events. High response. Uh, yeah, it was satisfying. Lula. To a woman now out there listening to you, what are your top three recommendations? Uh, I'd like to say to all girls to be confident and if they have a dream, they have to hold the tight, opportunities are there. You just grab it and work hard, work hard, work hard. That is fantastic. I'm going to follow that as well. It serves for everyone. Yeah, thank you so much, Uma. It was such a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much.